Okay, so uh, I'll explain to you how this works. Uh, right now the switch is off. And you can see that on this wheel there are 16 magnets. And this little electronic circuitry here uh, is powered by a transistor. This transistor switches on and off. And the frequency at which that switches on and off will determine the speed that this wheel will eventually spin. Because when the switch is on, it energizes this magnetic coil, and this magnetic coil repels a magnet as it's passing by. Then it switches off, and when it switches off, the magnetic field collapses, and as it collapses, there's a second coil wrapped around here that puts the collapsing magnetic field, the voltage that goes in reverse now, into this battery that's being charged up. And the charging battery takes on more energy than is being lost by the battery that's running the uh, electromagnetic coil in the first place. So this is always gaining more energy than it's required to run it. So you can switch these batteries positions. Uh, once the running battery runs too low, you change positions with this battery, and the battery that's been charged up then runs it. And you can keep switching those batteries back and forth for a long period of time. We've had it running continuously for six weeks, and we could have gone much longer than that, I'm sure. But we stopped because we were doing other things. So when I switch on this switch here and then give the wheel a little bit of a spin, it will start rotating and eventually it will, eventually it will get up to speed. just take maybe half a minute or so. Okay, so where did you get the idea to reinvent all of this stuff? Well, this wheel was invented by John Bedini, who's been uh, one of the major uh, innovators in Tesla technology. Tesla, te Nikola Tesla was the greatest scientist that the world has ever seen but he wasn't written about in the textbooks because he discovered a method for getting free energy and the uh, people who had the power companies and the, and the petroleum industry and so on didn't want the public to know that they could have free energy because they wanted to make money off the, the power stations and the petroleum to run the transportation. So this was kept out of the textbooks and this information hidden from public view. And the only reason we know about it now is because the internet is bringing all this information to the world's public. So John Bedini developed this. Uh, this was a, just a demonstration to show people how you can achieve uh, free energy.